Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode. So today's episode we do have a bit of a side mission here. I think it was quite some time ago when I talked about extending and expanding this into a waterfall so that's exactly what we are going to be doing in this episode and we've also decided to upgrade from the fluid dumps to this wonderful deep mechanical fluid pumps. So let's get straight into it and here we go. So before we start building up the waterfall over here I just wanted to quickly thank Kuist as well because I think we were complaining well I guess we weren't complaining but I was just highlighting the fact that the game was getting a little bit laggy here and there so Kuis had a great idea and he said hey why don't you um, reduce the population of the beavers and replace them with the bots instead because that should make things a little bit more efficient so um, right now okay we are gonna have to yeah maybe produce a few more bots and um, I, I don't want to reduce the beavers just yet until we get the, the bots to to replace them so with the food I think uh, okay so let's let's pause this because it's a little bit smoother now so um in this zone over here i don't think we need to produce any of this food anymore because everything is pretty much over there and we can export and import resources from here as well so this farm although it's not as massive i think it should be able to sort of handle i don't know maybe like 100 beavers at least and then we can still keep the let's have a look the the farms in this colony here as well that's pretty big okay yeah so that's what we what we can so let's have a quick look in here maybe yeah we'll um, cut it down just a little bit we'll take one beaver out i'm not entirely sure if i'm very confident in our food supplies because another thing that i've noticed is well okay never mind food's fine but our logs and water seems to be diminishing pretty quickly and in here as well okay we, we do have a few spare pots so maybe we just grab a bit more water from here okay there we go and um let's have another look what else do we want to do so um yeah with the pots we're just continually slowly building them let's have a quick look at the power as well so it seems we're not doing as good anymore we're about thousand in the positive so how about because we've got so much water flowing through this area why don't we change this up a little bit as well so this might be a little bit too optimistic perhaps but uh let's just collect everything from here and okay power let's do the small ones i think i might have mentioned before as well that would be cool to test them and trial them out oh okay so that's gonna be a little bit annoying here how many logs 25 logs for the one of them well do you know what if we're already building them we might as well complete the whole row so there we almost go no worries we'll do a platform here and i was gonna pause this but you know what i think we are gonna leave it the way it is right now and if they need to climb over to collect some of those resources then uh maybe we'll just pause one in the middle should give them a little bit of access yeah this area has been developing quite nicely there is a lot of pine trees in here and it's definitely way too many what I could do, maybe I'll allow the beavers to start harvesting these ones here as well. Yep, just for the time being. Let's do it this way, because we've, we've got plenty of pine resin over there. I would like to also continue building the, the train tracks over here. How far are you guys? Okay, so almost done. But I think we'll leave this for another episode. I think this area is already pretty nice and clean as well. So all these roads can go, we can kind of figure out the train tracks but uh let's not get too distracted let's just have a quick look over here as well is there anything else i've forced the coffee breweries don't think we need them just yet and everything else i do love seeing those trains over here so another thing that we haven't forgotten about i don't like this train connection here but until we figure out how we want to kind of like move through this zone i think we're just gonna leave it because they're not transporting too many resources into this area anyways but okay i think it is time to rebuild this area so for the water we could start dropping in from the higher area over there and then what i'd like to do i'd like to raise this a little bit as well i was thinking maybe we could do like different levels and things okay let's uh, lower this a little bit but I, I don't know if we have enough height over here i mean another option is of course we could raise this mountainside as well and make this lake even higher but 
that might be a little bit weird i think this is around the height that we uh, it, it would still kind of feel normal yeah those mountain tops definitely have to be a little bit higher than the than the rest of it right so the next thing we do have to do is a few of those trees i believe it is time for you guys to go and if we want this area to be a little bit wider then maybe we'll relocate a couple of you guys as well okay lovely so with the manpower or bot power i think we might run into some issues because we have this big project over here as well a couple of wheels are already in and getting 120 something power from here is gonna be quite beneficial for the grid isn't it yeah i know you guys are not very happy but you'll be fine a couple more days and everything should be constructed over here now if you need power or recharging you can you can always go either into here that's uh something new we built here not long ago actually it might, might have been in the last episode and then they can always go here as well all right so there we go we've uh, managed to clean up the trees in here we've got the the new fluid tamp as well actually we might do pots in here instead and then we have a bit of a scaffolding uh, just to get to the highest point to start putting some uh, some dynamites in place as well but okay here we go another or the first dynamite is almost in place all we got to do now is figure out how do we want to let this water pass from here and um and i'm thinking we'll use the natural tiles instead okay so this one wants to be probably a little bit wider we'll do one two three three in the middle this might be might just be fine actually hold on a second that's gonna take forever and there's something in the middle here as well which is a little bit annoying okay if this is gonna be let's say two levels high or should be we could make it smaller as well just to break the okay here we go so it wouldn't look so boxy and and like a big old rectangle here then these areas can be raised a little bit as well okay we've got a dynamite ready here we go here's one and i think we can do a few more levels and the same is going to happen here as well we just have to move it all out or or do we hmm well we certainly can leave it empty and then let's say build it up somewhere around here yeah this could be interesting as well so it's just gonna hold a lot more water inside this tank over here okay well there we go now the next thing we'll probably have to do is let's measure out how high we want this area to be probably a little bit more this might already be fine actually we might do another level now the main thing here is should we carry on using levees or should we do natural tiles I'm thinking levees will be good and useful to keep this area moisturized because that's the, the whole reason why we did it in the first place. And if we were to use natural tiles then it's not going to spread as far and wide as we want it to go. Do you know what? Uh, this container is going to be quite, quite a sizable one, isn't it? So why don't we cancel you for the time being? Let's just delete it. Then we can delete the rest of the stuff here as well okay if you can please grab everything as quick as you can and then what can we do i mean it would have been easier if we didn't build this there yet actually never mind if we do a bit of a scaffolding here or i guess it isn't a scaffolding it's just gonna be a mountain or a massive tower of levees and ladders instead okay there you go hopefully these guys aren't gonna start running through and never mind it is all blocked in which is absolutely fine and now we can connect you all up as well and here we go i've done another ladder just in case we need to climb a little bit higher okay and how are you guys going uh, you can go here and that means we can raise you just a little bit more all right here we go a couple more in here as well how are we gonna do this cliff actually i'm just gonna place you here as well i do want to break this boxy feeling as much as we can well you look at that on a slightly more positive note it seems the compact water wheels are pretty much done so how much are you producing over here we've got 1100 well that's not bad at all and yeah that is quite a few wheels though I mean we've got still plenty of logs in the storage yeah so maybe we could even do like another row as well if we really want to that's where we can do let's have a look at those dams over here so maybe it's just gonna fall directly into the into the river system also if we do want to make this a little bit more realistic then um hold on a second let's uh let's just 
grab and delete them real quick. Now, because of the force of the water, I guess we are going to have a bit of a pool in here. This area is obviously going to be a little bit deeper. We'll build you around and okay so you're probably not going to be able to climb all the way here so why don't we let you guys climb down now yeah the question still remains do we want to make this area a little bit bigger well at least this area is going up pretty quickly and and nicely if we were to remove this would you be able to build this area oh yes you are okay so that's fantastic why don't we do this as a matter of priority and then as soon as you're done, we can put back the water dump as well. Oh, hold on a second. I think if I remember correctly, when I first brought this idea up, then uh, I was saying we could make this a bit more automatic. So why don't we do something like this in here? Okay, let me, let's try this again. I know it's a bit of a night time, but I hope we can figure this out. So option one is to place it right next to here. So water kind of like maybe even circulates here goes here up and down or do we want to build another stream in here well let's start with the with the more obvious one let's just uh, kind of like recycle the same water all right here we go I, I don't think you're gonna be in the way are you i mean i don't really want to have a two level system let's have a look you are 700 maximum depth is six i think we might have to make a two level system after all Okay, well, why don't we check our power first of all? 10,800, 8,000 here. So it's not like we have a, a ton of power to spare. However, we could always build another line of you guys as well. I mean, why not, right? Let's just do quite a few. Almost filled up and then we'll have to let the beavers go into this area as well. So uh, yeah, here we go. We can climb over. We'll have a platform here couple of roads as well and we'll have to link you up just like so back to our waterfall the main focus of this episode well you look at that they've already done the dynamite so that's fantastic and then over here uh, do we need I think two is fine yeah it's gonna be a little bit deeper to ensure actually do we need them I mean it could be the same level as well let's just start with the with this one first we'll do something like so you're gonna go here as well and then if we take a quick look we'll have to remove the roads because they are in our way okay here we go how many levels is this one two three four five oh we might be able to yes let's definitely get it oh right this means we are gonna have to bring power in here as well what a pain they can only be connected from these sides so right so the other option that we have is why don't we do like a bit of a side platform over here okay here we go let's get rid of you real quick and where is it right over here let's pause you for a second we could bring the power through here perhaps but that's gonna be a little bit tricky as well because we can't do any side platforms here which means yeah it's gonna have to be those ugly platforms instead isn't it okay so there we go our power is almost done over here we just have one more link and it seems the water is already flowing through another thing that i've just quickly realized is that we are actually not gonna need this stream gauge over here because let me bring this back up again i think our system is actually self-sufficient so here we go you are gonna go in there and that's one two three four five and six so we can't go any deeper but that's fine so the reason why i say it's self-sufficient is because this is always gonna keep pumping out water and then over here when it fills up then it, it's just gonna spill over right how many more levels can we go there's only two left isn't it all right yeah not a lot of room for us to build but that's okay now the question is is that gonna spill over or not i guess we we shall find out all right let's get this one built oh wow they've already put in 50 metal blocks and 50 treated blanks whilst we were talking and then now we're just gonna need 100 gears but that was not looking very good now was it no not quite 100 in total left but um <laughs> if we have a quick look over here we we have a lot of places where we are producing gears maybe the problem is okay let's make sure that they are running 24 7 all right 
there we there we go and let's have a quick look over here as well i've added another row these bots are building them up pretty quickly as well and uh hopefully yeah twelve thousand and nine thousand required these batteries are full again which is fantastic to see and there we go another trout is approaching we've got two more gears left to place in the deep mechanical fluid pump and then we should see it in action very shortly and here we go all hundred of them the pump is working and we are indeed dumping water in here which is fantastic so anytime now as soon as it fills up we'll have the excess water sort of flow into this zone in here i think i'm just gonna raise the side a little bit just a tiny bit okay and then uh, this side over here is fine but i would like this to be completely honest yeah i would like this to be a little bit bigger okay so the waterfall is here maybe a couple of dynamites just like so and yeah i guess they are gonna have to cross over to just to build this terrain block over here but as soon as they're done i would like to remove the double platform and maybe we can do like a bridge to cross over and i don't know if we want to but we could also do like side platforms and maybe put some buildings on here so quick idea here as well i'd like to kind of expand i do like this canal over here so yeah i was kind of like looking at this mm, very very interesting but uh, i felt like maybe this isn't quite enough so i thought okay why don't we expand this a little bit we can have this canal go through here and maybe in the future who knows maybe we could build like loads of little networks in here and then yeah just separate this little peninsula all right so let's have a look at this um what we are gonna need is a few a few dynamites just like so and um, what we'll do as well we'll provide them ways to cross the little stream so that should not hopefully be a problem at all okay here we go and a couple of these dynamites in here do we want to push a little further as well maybe we do we can just remove a couple of you can't we okay there we go Yep, get rid of those real quick. We'll fill it with dynamites. That's going to be the extension of the canal. We'll do another dynamite right about. Actually, no, let's not do you over here. Now, up on the hill, I uh, place down a few trees and a bit of vegetation here as well, just to make it look a little bit nicer. It seems the, the lakeside pool or the lake on the hills is almost done. Let me just remove the extra bit of few things in there oh yeah i'm pretty sure okay there we go it's starting to spill a little bit but it seems like it's not quite enough where are you you're bringing in some water right now okay that's very lovely i think he's got a pretty long way to to go to the tanks but um it, it should be fine all right another quick side note it seems the the logs and the water is going up as well i mean logs have been kind of around four and a half k anyways so maybe not so much, but water has definitely gone up from like around 4,000 as well. So it's definitely doubled now. As soon as you get out of the way, we can place down another one. Oh, their well-being is only seven in this district. So that's probably something we should do in one of the upcoming episodes as well. Yeah, we'll definitely skyrocket their well-being. And here, here we go. Let's uh, unleash the water. That's going to flow all in there. And just for good measure... I know it can't go any deeper, but I was just thinking, why don't we allow some more water to kind of like gather in this spot? Okay, so something uh, fun just happened. Basically, when I was having a look at this mechanical fluid pump over here, I noticed that, okay, so why is it only 26% on the efficiency? Then I realized, okay, so there's only 400 power here, which means it's being powered by one of those engines, which is this one here. And I was trying to figure out, okay, so what's going on? Where are those power lines going? And then I realized when we reached towards somewhere about, where was it here? we had missed and forgotten to place down a straight power shaft and this area over here has been running low on power for pretty much the whole game yeah definitely most of the time anyways okay a couple more dynamites there we go these ones are done as well i am placing a quick forester over here because i think we have a couple more things that we would like to plant and we just don't have the reach for it then that area should look a little bit uh, nicer. So we have another tiny island, which I think looks pretty uh, pretty lovely, actually. Yeah, it's not too bad. 
and then um, yeah I guess in the future we can decide if we want to break this up a little more and maybe add another like a river going through if not I think this is now looking pretty pretty awesome and relaxing for the beavers as well we might even want to put down some benches and seats for them as well but I guess we'll see because right now it is not the utmost of priorities however I think this little side project that we had we can now call it a call it a success let's do a quick pot in here as well and then the last of the decorations should now be done we'll do a couple more blueberries here as well right so there we go one final look at this mighty well i guess it's not too mighty it's pretty tiny actually but despite the despite the size i'm sure it's very capable and it's gonna be a memorable experience for many beavers and bots to come so yeah i think we can be quite happy with the progress here so uh, let's call it a win for the time being now let me just quickly pause you because i don't think we need you anymore we should have plenty of power oh yes we do so yeah there we go. Hope you found this episode just as enjoyable as the other ones. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.